Well, when you get the money, when you uh, get the plans, you get the construction people all lined up, and they say, where? Where are you going to go? And I'll tell you that it didn't take long for our mayor and council to step up, as they have in the past, to help us as a college be part of the revitalization. And just, I'm just telling you, I'm getting my colors showing here. Uh, and proud to be a part of the revitalization of the downtown core. This adds to it. There's more to come when the students come down and our faculty come down and our support staff come down. But we couldn't have done it without the building. At this stage, I'd like to introduce our mayor of the city of Windsor, who led the way and directed council and spoke to council and shared the vision of what we were doing down here. Mayor Eddie Francis. Thank you, John, uh, for that kind uh, introduction. Uh, Senator Duffy, it's great to have you in the city of Windsor. And uh, Jeff spoke to your uh, past life and uh, talked about your extensive uh, work with uh, CTV and media, but certainly from a political junkie's point of view, it's very exciting to be here in your presence. Uh, for all of you that uh, may not know, uh, to be a politician in Canada, that's the person that you wanted to be on the good list with, and it's great to have him here. Uh, he's certainly a legend and continues to serve this country in his capacity as senator, so welcome. It's good to have you here. Jeff, it's good to have you here and be with you again on another remarkable day as we make another announcement. Dr. John, to the entire team, distinguished guests, this is a very exciting day for us and a very exciting opportunity for us because throughout the process, We've talked about the recession and the impact that the recession has had on our economy. And as Windsorites and as people from Windsor and Essex, we knew that we've been through tough times before. And we knew that we felt and uh, experienced challenges in the past. But we also understood that this was a different time for us. And this was a unique opportunity for us as a region and as a community uh, to use this recession to diversify and to reposition ourselves as a new modern region, as a region that had all the amenities and as a region that was strong in all of its different offerings, and academia being uh, certainly one of those offerings. And St. Clair College has always been front and center from the first announcement that was made as it relates to the St. Clair Center for the Arts on our Riverside Drive, formerly uh, the Cleary, uh, to the uh, decision and the announcement that you hear and you celebrate with us uh, today. Uh, allow me to extend my sincere thanks and congratulations uh, to the visionary, uh, the person that made this possible, that could actually look at this and uh, certainly envision this and put it down and say this will serve not only the college but will serve the community. And Veronique Mandel was tireless in her efforts. And Veronique, uh, congratulations to you. It is truly exciting. To take a concept and to make it reality is an exciting and certainly it takes a lot of team work, a lot of effort, uh, but it takes a leader. And uh, Veronique, congratulations to you and Dr. John for your continued support and to the entire St. Clair College team for understanding and supporting uh, this concept, not only in the city but in our downtown core. This announcement is significant and when we made the announcement with Jeff back at the, at the, about a year ago at the uh, St. Clair Center for the Arts, we called it a smart investment because this announcement here pays off on so many levels not only for the students that are now going to be trained in a new industry and have the opportunity to have 45 different career options available to them once they leave here. This not only pays for the college, uh, pays off for the college in terms of having new programming and new facilities, but it pays off for the community because it's an investment in our downtown that is experiencing a significant uh, diversification and revitalization, and the college continues to play a strong role. So uh, congratulations to all those involved. In closing, to Jeff, uh, it's been a tremendous ride, and it's been a great opportunity to work with you and to work with the government. Uh, when we were hit with the recession, the government of Canada was there front and center uh, through the different ministries and the prime minister and Jeff asking how can we help the people of Windsor and Essex. And there has not yet been a proposal that we have not uh, sat down and discussed with them that they have turned their backs on us. They've continued to deliver. And as a result of, the, of their deliverance, as a result of their commitment to this region, as a result of their uh, desire to see us revitalize, as you heard from Jeff, hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars have come to this city and to this region. But not only direct investment, their investment in Windsor and Essex has allowed us as a city to further leverage that. And you have $650 million worth of projects taking place today, all made possible because of the partnership. So Jeff, I wanted to recognize you and uh, thank you as, uh, 
As John mentioned earlier in his introduction, you're a member of Windsor uh, of Essex, but you're certainly working on behalf of all of Windsor Essex, and we want to recognize that and thank you for your efforts. Uh, congratulations to everybody. Uh, well done, and uh, this is a great addition to the city, to the community, and to our downtown core. Uh, Dr. John, thank you. Thank you.